Now the next thing I would like to um, go over is one of the newer enhancements in uh, four axis um, machining as well. This method is known as a rotary instancing or also you could call it uh, repeat indexing in four axis. Now again this method is also available starting with our expert configuration of the mill module. Now the part I have shown here has um, features, identical features that repeat itself uh, in a pattern. As you can notice it's so rather than having to program each of these features and create a rotate table operation and repeat them for each of these faces, you could now take advantage of rotary instancing. Now in this particular example, I have a facing operation, a profiling, and a drilling operation. So I've programmed uh, three, uh, two axis operations in here, and I would like to repeat those or index them across the entire part. So with our 2017 release, you could now take advantage of this feature called rotary instancing, and you can specify the incremental table rotation angle and the number of repeats and then select generate. So this creates a rotary instance folder. I could now select all of these operations in here and place them into the rotary instance operation folder. So you'll now notice that as I select the rotary instance, the instances are created for each of the features and they're being repeated. You could also perform a cut material simulation for each of these instances. So this rotary instance feature can be used in combination with two axis, three axis, and even four axis operations. So if you had a four axis profiling or a pocketing or even a parallel finishing operation, you could uh, apply the rotary instancing to all of these operation types. And again, this is included in our four axis module, which is available starting with the expert configuration. Today, another another point another point I want to emphasize here is in your facing operation, uh, you're able to tell the cutter to cut, come from the outside on the material, and maybe you can explain how you did that. Sure. Uh, thanks for pointing out, Joe. So uh, if we have uh, like an open pocket in here, so the geometry, the feature, what I've selected in here is actually an open pocket. So I have three sides. So uh, when we have an open pocket, selecting two axis facing will ensure that the cutter will uh, start from the side where it's open and will never go past. So it will treat the other three sides as side walls or part boundaries so not to be machined away. So you can use two axis facing as a very efficient way to program open pockets so rather than having to create additional geometries to uh, you know, to extend past on the side where it's open and create a curved geometry. So you can use two axis facing to program open pockets. So in here, uh, we have uh, two axis facing and you can notice that I only have three surface edges selected which results in an open pocket and selecting a two axis facing operation will ensure that the cutter enters uh, past the, uh, you know, geometry on the open side and ensures that you result in a nice open pocket machining operation. So you could use this on a normal two axis operation on a prismatic part or you can even apply it to instances where you have a rotary instancing that needs to be performed in a four axis as well.